So for this video, we're doing the three by three box layout assignment, right? So I'm gonna go into the instructional materials, okay? Week 17 and day 34. It might be a different folder for you guys, but definitely day 34 is the one to choose, right? And here is the assignment three by three box layout, okay? So here is um, the instructions for the assignment, right? The first thing that we're gonna do is create a custom 10 by 10 inch page, right? So it's gonna look like a square. And we're gonna create a 0.25 inch margins and squares that are gonna be three by three, right? Um, so the magic numbers are gonna be the margin, which is 0.25, right? And the three, right? Those are gonna be the ones that we're gonna need to create this layout, okay? Um, so it's gonna look something like this, right? So we're gonna uh, insert our, create our new page, insert our measurements, right? Um, and then right down here, we have a breakdown of how uh, we're gonna add these numbers, right? So 0 0.25 and then three, 0 0.25 and then three, right? We're gonna be adding the numbers, right? To the last number that we created or that we came up with, right? Using the math. Um, we're gonna continue and right here, this is where it's supposed to look like when we finish, right? If we use the correct numbers, if we're doing math correctly, it should look like this, right? So I'm gonna click on the photo P link to get started. I'm gonna create a new page. So I'm gonna go to file. I'm gonna click on new, right? Um, this is this box should pop up, right? And we're gonna change this to inches, right? From pixels to inches, right? I'm gonna click inches. Right? And then we're gonna, then it's gonna change the numbers. We're gonna put in our measurement, which is 10, right? 10 by 10, the 10 is already in there. I'm still gonna put it in there, right? So it's gonna be like this, right? We don't have to go in here. We're gonna create a custom page. So all we have to do is insert our measurements, right? In here, make sure it's in the inches format. And once we have our 10 and 10 in here, right? With the inches, we're gonna click on create. And it's gonna give us a square page, right? Just like this. So as you guys can see, uh, this edge of the page starts at zero and this one start, ends at 10, right? So it's uh, from here to here, it's 10 inches, right? And from the top to the bottom, that is also the same thing, right? So usually when we start at the edge of the page, right? Um, if we go to view and add guides, right? I already have the number of where my first guide is, right? It's right at the zero mark, right? So we're gonna create um, our first margin, right? The first margin is 0.25 inches, right? So the first number we're gonna be adding is that exact number, right? Because we're always gonna just be adding it to zero this first one, right? So I need to create the space from zero um, and add a guide somewhere around here, right? It should land somewhere at this point right, the 0.25 inch margin, okay? So if I add 0.25, right, press okay, it's gonna give us that margin space that I'm looking for, right? From here to here, where the guide is, um, it is 0.25 inches, right, an exact measurement, okay? So then we're starting off, okay, right? The first margin, the first guide is applied correctly, right? So how do we add the next one, right? What is the next one? Right, we added the 0.25 margin space, this light blue color right here, right? So we've created the first guide. So how do we add this second guide, right? How do we land a guide right at this edge right here, right? You're gonna take the number, your last number, which is 0.25 that you added, and you're gonna add three to it, right? So I'm gonna go to view, add guide, right? I'm gonna put a comma. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add three to the last number, right? If you just add three, it's not gonna put it in the correct area, right? So three plus 0.25 is 3.25, right? That's how we do it. We're just gonna keep adding the numbers, right? Do not add 0.25 as a guide um, or three as a guide, right? After the first one, okay? We're gonna keep adding numbers. That's why we have a plus right here, right? We have to do the plus. We have to add the number, right? So you're just gonna keep going, right? Um, right here is where the next guide is, right? After this, after adding the 
3.25 margin, what do we have to do next, right? We add the we add the next margin, right? So we have to add the other guide over here on this side, right? So I did plus 25 to the zero, right? And this is what it was. Um, then I took this number and I added three, right? Once you get that new number, you're gonna add the next number, right? So 3.25 plus 0.25, that's gonna be your next number, right? And you're just gonna keep adding them until you get to the edge of the page, till you get to 10, right? <clears throat> so you're gonna keep going. Once you finish adding your numbers, you're gonna do the exact same thing to the vertical one, the exact same thing, right? You're gonna put your 0.25, right? It's gonna give you that first margin, and it's gonna do this, the exact same thing. Once you finish, it should look like this, right? Right, so we have um, two guides so far in the horizontal one, right? We created the first margin, right? We created a three inch box space. So from this guide to this guide, it's three inches exactly, right? We're creating that outline, that layout, right? So we're adding the next margin space, right? We have to make sure that there's margin space in between the boxes, okay? So 3.25, right? That's our last number. What do we add to 3.25? Right, we're going to add the 0.25. Right, we can put comma 3.5. Right, and it's going to create that margin space in between the boxes. You're going to continue to add the numbers until you get to the edge. Right, and then you're going to do the exact same thing to the vertical guides. Right, once you're done, you should look. It should look like this grid. You're going to take a screenshot and then you're going to submit it to me. Right. Make sure I can see the rulers, and the rulers are in the inches format. Okay, and that's it.